Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be going through uncollected all of the boss fights. Here's the first boss that we're looking at here. Uh, you can see the active buffs on the node. Nothing here poses any real difficulty, in my opinion. Uh, but definitely take a look at this so that you're aware, depending on who you have, to go up against this King Groot, you might find it slightly challenging, but this is a fairly straightforward and easy boss. We've got six bosses. If you saw my live stream, you've already seen these fights, but I wanted to make this video uh, for those who didn't see the live, uh, live stream and don't necessarily want to go through the live stream in order to see these fights. Now, normally, when I see a King Groot, I'm always thinking of Dr. Voodoo. And I'm thinking Dr. Voodoo would also be very well, uh, a very good counter for this boss. All right, don't ask why I was getting hit here and here, I don't know. But we took him out without too much difficulty. I've been having some trouble with my parries. I don't know why. But in any case, King Groot went down, no problem. Next up, we've got Ebony Maw. Now, Ebony Maw can be fun depending on who you go up against him with. The first time I tried to fight Ebony Maw with Wasp, or, I mean, not Wasp, uh, Ghost or Corvus, it was not a good day. I laughed. I was like, why am I missing? But Wasp, Wasp is a great counter. So normally when I bring Ghost, I'm going to bring my Wasp and I'm going to bring the Hood. So when I see Ebony Maw, I just switch over and fight him with Wasp. And as you can see, she does very well when I'm not eating specials. Uh, but the fact that as part of her uh, combo, you can fire off a heavy, which I do, that breaks Ebony Maw's focus. But anyone that has a strong heavy is great uh, to fight Ebony Maw. You just can't have someone that has guaranteed crits. All right, next up, we've got Ultron. Now, this version of Ultron is the one that I hate fighting the most, but he's not difficult. It's just because his evade is random. The other Ultron, you know when he's going to evade, if you are familiar with him. All right, so this guy, he had unblockable, but if you know how to evade his specials, you're good. He went down very, very easily to Corvus. So he was Corvus Chow. Next up, we've got Quake. Now, Quake is easy to fight, but depending on her play style, the AI, uh, you don't want even one stack on you. Now, what happened here in the beginning has been happening a lot. You'll notice that I was phased and just taking all those uh, attacks. I couldn't move. My controls were pretty much frozen. Nothing I did would get her to move until after all of the attacks were over, I was able to evade back. All right. But she went down very easily to ghost. I'm very happy that ghost was phased when my controls were non-responsive because I was steady trying to attack her. And when I saw that I wasn't moving, then all I started doing was swiping back. All right. Next up. We've got Mole Man. Mole Man is so lackluster. Uh, luster. It's amazing at how unimpressive he is. Mole Man, I did a video on him. As an attacker, I'm not impressed. And as a defender, I'm not really that impressed. Maybe some nodes can uh, make up for it. I don't know. All right, so... We went in here with my Omega Red, my prize possession, 
six star Omega red that I pulled the first of the year to start it off. Right. And just look at that. I was like, Whoa, I don't know how I was getting hit like that. And I'm like, okay, I have just got done thinking, Oh, Mo man is just not that good of a defender. And then I mess up like that. So not happy, not happy at all. Uh, but anyway, uh, this Omega red, as you'll notice is a rank two six star and he's not awakened. A lot of people feel that he needs to be awakened. I agree somewhat. Uh, if you're not running suicides, which I am, then you want him awakened. Uh, if you're running suicides, you can get by with him not being awakened. But when he's awakened, he is just on a whole nother level. But I use him all the time now. As you see, he does just fine. No regrets here. Now, this fight here, um, the one thing I would say, if you have someone who is shock immune, uh, you might do uh, pretty well with a shock immune champion. But if you have an aggressive play style like I do, you shouldn't have to worry about that shock getting on you. All right. And finally, last but not least, we come to Terax. So, so far, all of the bosses have been pretty easy, straightforward. Many, many counters to them. I don't go into each of the counters that you can uh, take against which champions, but for the most part, any champion, if you can play well and you're familiar with their play style, you can, you can really get the uh, champions down. I didn't see anything that would make me say, oh my goodness, no, you don't want to do this, this, or this. Um, Ebony Maw, for example, you don't want to take in someone like Ghost or Corvus. All right, so here's my first time fighting this Terax. Now, the thing that got me most of the time is those rocks, the rock aura that he has. Uh, that is a lot like, yeah, the rock field. It's a lot like Mephisto. It's on a timer, so like now it's gone and it'll be back. But what you want to do is wait it out. And I almost got wrecked right there because I hesitated, was trying to do too much and fired off my special too late. All right. And now here I wanted to bait out his special, but here's the problem with the nodes. You want to fight aggressively. If you go too far away from him, he gets a power gain. So while you're trying to bait out that special, he got a power gain, went to special three, wrecked me. So you want to bear that in mind. If you're going to bait out specials, you want to bait them out from like when he has special one. Do not wait until he has a special two, because if he starts playing passively, well, you just saw what would happen. So now I brought in Namor because I heard Namor does this fight very, very well, even a three star. And I can tell you, yes, that is the case. Now, I don't have a five star. So I brought my four star in. So you see what I'm doing here? This is not my normal style. And he caught me. OK, that happens. What I was doing was called a backdraft intercept where you just attack. You don't finish your combo. You dash back and then you dash immediately right back at him. And you saw it was working for a while, but it is risky and I'm not good at it. But Namor definitely can do this fight. He is excellent for this fight. So now at this point, I'm just trying to get him down, do as much damage as possible. But you see how much health I lost. That is because I was not familiar with that rock field. And I just went in fighting straight and just look at this. If I had just waited until the rock field was over, Wasp could have finished the fight off as well. But again, this is my first time fighting that Terax. And so I'm just throwing all of my champions at him before I get my big boys. All right. You know, so I've got Ghost 
and I've got Corvus. And I'm like, okay, well, one of them is going to take him out. So again, not paying attention to the rock field. And then look at that. That caught me. What happened is I got armor break. <laughs> Braked. Broke. Um, I got an armor break debuff, so I wasn't able to phase. That caught me by surprise. So I went to phase, and I wasn't phased, and he just whooped on me. And I was sitting there going, what? And I saw the armor break, and I was like, oh, man, I missed that part where um, he'll apply the armor break. So now I'm like, okay, folks in the chat are telling me, it's the rock field, the rock field. Just wait it out. So now you see me, I'm backing up. See, I'm not fighting right here. All right, now the field is gone. Now I go in. And when you do that, the fight becomes pretty straightforward. So that's my advice on fighting Terax. You want to wait. In the beginning, don't rush in right away. Wait for that rock field to go away. Once it's on cooldown, then you can go ahead and fight him and you want to be aggressive because if you're not aggressive, he's going to get a power gain and you'll have to deal with his specials. He'll fire off specials more frequently. He may even hold it, get to a special three and wreck you. So wait out the rock field, then go in, fight him aggressively. Bait out specials from special one if you're going to bait those specials out. Don't wait until he has two bars of power because, as you saw, you can easily get wrecked by a special three when you do that. All right, so overall, this challenge, uh, not challenge, but this uncollected mode uh, was pretty straightforward. Uh, none of the bosses seemed difficult to me. None of them seemed to require any specific champions to counter them. Uh, Ebony Maw. You don't want to go in with Ghost or Corvus uh, or anyone that has guaranteed crits. Uh, you want to, you know, if you know how to fight Ebony Maw, you know you want to uh, fire off heavies. So a champion that has strong heavy attacks like Wasp or Captain America Infinity War are great counters for uh, that Ebony Maw. All of the other... Uh, champions that you had to fight were pretty easy. Uh, Mole Man, he is so lackluster, it's not even funny. He, uh, he's not impressive on offense or defense. As long as you know his specials and you pay attention, they're easy to evade, and he really just doesn't have all that much. Maybe nodes might make him a little bit more challenging to fight on defense, but I don't know. He just does not seem like a great champion at all to me. All right, so that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Hopefully it helps you out when you're doing your initial uncollected run. Uh, you can also look at the live stream if you want to see this in its entirety. Uh, but take care, and you all have a blessed day.